Hey, what's up guys? Brian Dales here. Before I uh, show you guys this uh, travel vlog, I want to thank our bus for helping sponsor this trip, for letting me use their bus and their uh, app as a means to travel. I'll put in the link below where you can, how you can purchase tickets through their app. It's very, very easy to use and I highly recommend it. I'd have to say that um, as far as the app and their company goes, they do a really great job of making travel very easy for people. Um, you know, with cost as low as $10. I know it's $10 here in Indianapolis to take the bus from here to Chicago and then back. So for those of you who want to maybe get away for the weekend or get away for a night like how we did, um, 20 bucks will get you there and back. So um, I will say that my only other thing would be uh, I wish they had more times, like more different times, because it seems like the only time that the bus leaves to go to Chicago is very early in the morning. And then um, the time that it comes back from Chicago is about 5.30ish, central time, anyway, not here. Um, so I would hope, I hope that maybe later on down the road they can add more times and more, uh, you know, uh, frequent buses that run in and out of Indianapolis daily, um, especially on the weekend, like Saturday service needs to have more frequent trips because that's when it's going to be the busiest. Um, so yeah, and then maybe keep, uh, you know, I like the $10, but maybe every once in a while have maybe like $5 deals like Monday through Wednesday, maybe on days where the travel is not as heavy. So yeah. And then, um, the bus does make two stops before it gets to Chicago. Same with coming back from Chicago to Indianapolis. And, um, yeah, there's that really my only two complaints. I had other than the bus driver on the way home didn't seem very knowledgeable and she really didn't promote the company as much as the first bus driver did Charlotte which you'll see her here in the video but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you once again to our bus for providing me uh, the ability to travel hopefully I'll be able to do some more traveling with them and I hope we get some more routes to uh, f uh here from Indianapolis to other cities I'd like to see a route to St. Louis would be cool a route to Louisville would be nice uh probably a route to Cleveland or Cincinnati probably Cincinnati and then I think a route to Washington DC would be really cool too and I'm definitely up for uh going to those cities eventually and uh taking the bus there as well and doing some more travel vlogs I know we don't really do that kind of stuff here on Dragon Logger but it's nice to do something different for a company that's uh, for a website like us that's based on entertainment and technology so anyway hope you guys enjoy this video leave a comment down below and uh here it is enjoy it all right what's up guys we're back i'm at the uh bus stop right now i'm in here in downtown indy i got the uh <clears throat> city county building right up here behind me and waiting for the bus to get here right now and uh, I just saw the bus actually go by uh, over here on uh, Delaware Street. So I think it's going to go make a round a block and go all the way around and come back. And actually, it's right there over there. I'll, you guys, I'll go out here so you guys can see it a little bit better. But there it is. Right there. It's going to pull up and... I believe we have to be a little bit further down the street to go pick the bus up though. But there it is. So we're gonna walk over here <coughs> to the bus. We gotta go down there. <coughs> and we're gonna be getting on and this that's uh oh, she's on my other side. This is Raven. Yo. She'll be uh <laughs> she'll be going with me today to experience the our bus travel and it looks like they use gold shield <clears throat> as their transportation service for the bus so there's that but so you got to get on your front of your tickets or what are you doing but uh, there it is I'll turn the camera around I'll stop this and then I'll let you guys see the bus 
All right, there it is. There's the R bus right there. They use gold shield transportation. And this is the ride we'll be on today. And there's the R bus logo right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. There it is. There it is. So this will be our ride for the next, like, I guess two hours? Something like that? About three, maybe? So yeah. And you guys can see that they do use Gold Shield Indy Worldwide for their transportation services to and from Chicago, Illinois. All right, we are on the bus and we've got water in the front seat. And look at all these seats to choose from. Where are we? Where do you want to sit? But all these seats to choose from here. I don't know where we're going to sit at. But they do have little charging ports in the middle down there. And you've got space to put your belongings. And I think we're gonna make this seat right here. No, no, this one right here. <laughs> so yeah. All right, this is the view from our seat here. We're still in downtown Indianapolis. We're still here. And uh, first impressions of the seat, well, it's kind of tight. <laughs> this isn't really, uh, this is not the, the, the our bus's fault. This is the, this is the uh, company's bus. But uh, you can see the seats don't have any pockets really to hold anything in. There's no pockets. Like for um, folks in there. There is nothing to put cups in or drink in. I kind of have to put my charging port here on this emergency bar. <laughs> That's kind of how that works. Um, but they do have, I did, I did kind of show that earlier, it's down here, but it's not tucked away, but there is the uh, charging port there. It's got two uh, USB plugs, and it also has a DC outlet as well. It's got two of them, so that. Um, I don't know what's going to be on the TV screens. I'm guessing maybe some information about the uh, Wi-Fi maybe. <laughs> and then of course above our heads here you've got uh, control the lights and the AC and all that. So anyway, um, but uh, once we're on the road after a while I'll, uh, we'll come back. and uh, record some more. See you soon. All right, we're leaving downtown Indianapolis. We uh, just left, I don't know, about two or three minutes ago. They gave us the rundown of all the, uh, the password for the Wi-Fi here, which this bus does have Wi-Fi, it's kinda nice. Uh, Although it's kind of not working right now. But um, we're here on the move, getting out of the city. Show you guys a little bit of architecture here in Indianapolis. The sun, man, it's the worst spot for me to record, but it's okay. You got the uh, Riley Towers up there at the top. So there's that. You got this little video playing here, welcoming you to the uh, the bus. Apparently, so yeah. All right, now we got the sun out of the way. <laughs> we can finally go and record back on the window. Still in downtown. 
Oh, there you go. Tell us of the possible tripping hazards. Don't want to fall and bust her face on the bus. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Alright, we're now in Lafayette. Actually, we're close to West Lafayette. And uh, this is my old stomping grounds. I used to live here. Um, I used to live here back in 2013, back in 2013. I used to live here and real close to Purdue University. This is going to be our uh, last stop before we head up to Chicago. And uh, we're actually almost in downtown Lafayette. Which will be coming up here. You guys could see a little bit of the buildings. Well, when these trees get out of the way. <laughs> but uh, you guys see the little chase building up there. But we're coming over here to pick up some more people. <laughs> it's been a pretty pleasant ride so far. Although the Wi-Fi is a little spotty. But uh, other than that, not too bad. There's a train. We are slowly making our way. The last time I was here was for the, uh, oh, it's called the Hunter's Moon Festival. They have here every year. And we're stopped. Gonna pick up some more people. Here they come. All right. So while traveling to Chicago, if you take 65 north from Indianapolis, you get to see all these windmills that stretch out for miles. Look at that, all of them back there. There's so many. There's some on the other side too, but so many windmills. I've always been curious what these are powering. I don't know if they're powering the farm or the houses, I'm assuming. But look at that. They just they stretch out for miles. You can see so many back there. But I've always found this to be a really cool sight when going to Chicago. So many over there. There's a ton on the other side too, but there's way more on the other side, but as you can see there's I don't know, I would say there's probably about two to three hundred out here. And this goes on for quite a while. I think we're only about an hour away from Chicago now. So far, the the ride has been very nice. Could you imagine living out here and seeing that? Waking up every morning? Oh, there's a truck. <laughs> there's a truck. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. Always love these windmills. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. We are heading on the Chicago Skyway Bridge, and if you can see in the distance there, there is Chicago. It is going over the bridge right now, the Skyway. Look at that view. Well, 
not of the factory. <laughs> Look at that. You got Lake Michigan out there, the very back, and then there's Chicago right there, above my finger. Is Chicago. So we're almost there. It's been a very pleasant ride so far. More of it over there. You can see the you can see the lake back there. So yeah, I thought I'd show you guys that. Just a little bit of that going over the. Skyway. All right, guys. We have arrived thanks to these guys. We made it downtown, Chicago. As you can see, there's the Willis Tower. Look at that thing. You can kind of, well, I don't think you can see it from this video, but you can kind of see the sky deck up there. And people uh, pay to to look over, but we are. We've got a helicopter over there. It's like it's taking off and landing or something. But we made it. We're here. Here we are. And uh, that was a good ride. Thanks to our bus for giving us a ride down here. It was a pretty comfortable ride. That's uh, Charlotte, our bus driver. She was great, by the way. She did a really great job of getting us to Chicago safely. She was excellent. Hey, you did an excellent job, Charlotte. Thank you, Brian. Thank you so much. Thank you. For getting us here safe. I'll give you a five-star review. Five-star? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Going in. To Union Station in downtown Chicago. Love it. This is really cool. Alright, let's head on in. Here we go. I'll let you go on in first. And be prepared for the epic architecture that is the Union Station. Look at this place. Wow. This is gorgeous. This is amazing. I've never been in this building before. This is beautiful. What do you think? It's gorgeous. Is it gorgeous? Yeah. I can't, as this, far as like, taking pictures, the lighting isn't doing this. This definitely gives me the uh, vibes of the Grand Central Station in New York City. The same stairs kind of lead you in to the big open area. It's kind of neat to see that. Oh, be careful. <laughs> and uh, here we are. This is a, definitely a throwback to a time when people only took the train places. And then when you get out here, oh man, this is amazing. Look at this. This is. This is gorgeous. Look at the columns. It's so beautiful. Look at that. This is gorgeous. Isn't this cool? Look at that. Totally different architecture. Yeah. There's the Jackson Boulevard over there. Yeah. Uh, it was in November, so it was all decorated for Oh, really? So, we're going to go and get our day passes. This is beautiful. Yeah, yeah it is. Wow. This is something else. Can't, I, I can't get over how uh, beautiful this looks. 
being down here. Like I said, I'm gonna compete. I'm gonna keep comparing this to when you're in New York City in Manhattan, the Grand Central Station. Memories are all coming back. Actually, it was not decorated for Christmas. There it is to all trains. Right there, straight ahead. Check that out. Look at that sign. This is so cool. They got phone chargers you can buy. This is really neat. Two all trains. That's amazing. This architecture here is just so gorgeous. You got an Am, you got the Amtrak ticket office there. You can buy your Amtrak tickets here. That's kind of cool. They got even phone chargers. I've never, never seen that before. That's definitely different. So we're gonna figure out how to get our uh, passes for the metro or for the uh, train stuff here. But yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty damn cool. All right, we decided to go grab some lunch today. We just got to Chicago and. We decided to stop into the famous Wall Burgers here in Chicago, Illinois. And for those who don't know, this is also a very popular uh, reality TV show. And uh, Wall Burgers is actually owned by uh, Donnie, Mark, and Paul Wahlberg. Um, Donnie, of course, being a member of New Kids on the Block. An actor. And also an actor. And uh, Mark Wahlberg, everybody knows who he is for sure, too. And then their uh, brother Paul, he actually works at the restaurant. Uh, not this one. I believe he works at the one in Boston. Uh, that's where most of the show is filmed. But I wanted to show you guys a menu here. You've got some Mark's Choice. This is the Thanksgiving turkey burger. <laughs> And then you've got Donnie's Choice. I think I'm going to go with this, the barbecue bacon. I saw this on a uh, ad, and it looks quite delicious. And then I'm going to try the tater tots, too. I'm going to do the tots. That sound so amazing. But you've got a complete menu here, just plum full of stuff. you got small birds, all kind of stuff here as well. All right, here we go. About to dive in. Look at this burger. Oh, thank you. <laughs> About to dive in. Look at this. Mmm, so delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That's a good burger right there. Let's try the uh, sweet potato tots. You can see that there. Look at that. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's delicious. They're nice and sweet. <laughs> See what I did there? Mmm, these are very, very good. This is definitely a place worth checking out. All right, here we are on Lake Michigan with Chicago behind me. Yeah. This is gorgeous. Look at that. Look at this view. Oh, I got all that already. Yeah. That's a gorgeous view. Look at that. Oh, man. This is so beautiful, guys. This is gorgeous. And it feels great. It's a beautiful breeze. Nice breeze out here. It feels really good standing up. We need to decide to stand up, but I'm at the front. I'm at the front of the ship. Right here. Right. Say hi. Hi. Right. <laughs> I forgot you were so recording. Yeah, this is so cool. Uh, so we're heading to the Shed Aquarium. That's the port that we're getting off at. I'm not going to Shed Aquarium, but we're gonna just get off there. We just, this is a cheap way to come out on the lake, really. The best, um, 
this is the cheapest option to come out here, really. You know, to go all the way across. Like to go across yeah. like this, yeah. This is insane. Uh, love that view. Oh yeah. something I've always wanted to see, always wanted to check out, but never really got the opportunity to do until now. Check that out. There it is. The bean. That is gorgeous. I think it's huge. It's called Cloud Gate is the real name. We're going to stand under it. Cloud Gate is the actual name of this structure. Pretty neat. Pretty, pretty cool. That is, that is insanely huge. My God. Definitely knocking off something I've always wanted to do. Not necessarily bucket list material, but still, let's go on the approach here. We can see the bean. Check that out. That is gorgeous. That's gorgeous. You know what? That is beautiful. Let's get closer to it. Let's go under the cloud gate here. This is gorgeous. Look at this. Wow. That's a, that's a beautiful sight. That is gorgeous. Wow. All right, we're going under. Going under the cloud gate. And there I am, you can see me up there. There we are. There we are. Right there. Right there. In the mirror. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, so it is time to go home. And we're on the R bus home. One last shot of the Willows Tower, which is uh, where the uh, bus drops uh, drops off at over here, off of Jackson Boulevard. Um, a couple complaints would be the bus driver didn't tell us the right time the bus was leaving. They, they were going based off of. Uh, Eastern time and it's Central time here in Illinois, so we're an hour behind. So, so there's that. Um, so there's that. So, uh, so we're just uh, waiting to leave here soon. Uh, hopefully, uh, this will be a smooth ride. I'm assuming we're going to be stopping about two more times, probably once in Whitestown or once in Lafayette again, and once in Whitestown uh, before heading uh, back to Indy. And we're supposed to be arriving at 10 p.m. So. Gino, LD, everything small case for the Wi Fi. PCHS. GOLDPCHS. Um, anyway, uh, apparently this bus driver has been given some wrong information. But hey, you know what? I don't. It's, it's whatever. Um, that, that's kind of my small review is. The, the bus driver ho home doesn't seem too uh, knowledgeable when it comes to stuff. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog uh, with me traveling here. Um, 
thank you guys so much for watching this video. And um, would I recommend our bus? Yeah, absolutely would. It's been a great ride. Uh, and I will see you guys later.